All right, Christianity is declining in the USA and in Europe, really for the same reasons. It really just comes down to the same reasons. There's a bunch of stuff, you know, our textbook talks about it. You've heard about it, you know, Catholicism, Mormonism and Jehovah Witnesses, all these other quote unquote branches of, you know, they have some of the truth, you know, they have some Christian stuff. And then you have evolution, which is a whole different thing. And then you have New Age, there's a lot of other spirituality going on. A lot of other spirituality going on. New Age, you got all these other uh, little G gods uh, that they worship in other religions, you know, uh, Norse stuff and Greek stuff, and that people still do. I've seen it on the streets. Anyways, and you know, yeah, there was some stuff that happened in the past. The Great Depression uh, made it hard for certain church buildings to keep up with the resources. And then now there's, you know, the social gospel where they, where the churches, they just focus on, you know, the horizontal. They just focus on the, the physical well-being of people instead of, you know, really focusing on the spiritual, the vertical, and then, you know, maybe also including some horizontal in there as well. But the vertical is what matters, the gospel of Jesus Christ. You want to know what? The falling away, it's just talked about in the Bible, okay? You know, ever since the beginning, it, God has said, you know, Christians, Jews, you know, Israel is a small, it's a remnant, okay? Most people that have claimed to be Christian, most people that have fallen away, they're not even, they haven't, they weren't even really Christian. You know, it's always been small from the beginning, okay? Most of these people that are falling away, they really weren't even in it to begin with, generally speaking, at least. It's been this way since the beginning. A very small group of people. Deuteronomy 7.7 7, The Lord did not set his love upon you, nor choose you, because ye were more in number than any people, for ye were the fewest of all people. And you just you just see it where you just see it all throughout scripture, you know, there's just false teachers that, you know, they bring in fake people and then those those people are the ones that leave, you know, the people that are leaving, it's not like the elect are leaving. It's the fakes, generally speaking, at least. And it's just because they don't preach the truth. And that, you know, that would actually, when people preach the truth, that actually pushes away the fakes, but it brings in the real ones, okay? That's why First John it talks about whoever's of God hears us. Most people are not of God. Uh, many are called, but few are chosen. Matthew 22, 14, I believe. But anyways, I believe that we're in the era of where the saints are being worn out. So there is some, I believe, real saints that are being worn out. And no, well, there's some real saints, I believe. You know, it talks about being blotted out of the book of life. And we are in that season of wearing out. You have to endure to the end, Matthew 24, Matthew 24, 13. Okay, Daniel 7, 25. And he shall speak great words against the Most High and shall wear out the saints of the Most High. This is talking about the kingdom of darkness coming coming against the kingdom of God, and including the Antichrist. Anyways, and shall wear out the saints of the Most High, and think to change times and laws, and they shall be given into his hand until a time and times and the dividing of time. It talks about how he, the you know, the kingdom of darkness will, the Antichrist will wear out the saints, okay? We're in that period of time and you know really a lot of people leaving their fakes but it is that time where the true sense of god they're getting worn out they're getting tired how much more the fakes anyways this is just prophecy okay europe usa it's all stemming from the same stuff uh people you know they want to stay in their sin they don't really want to follow jesus christ and that's what jesus says will happen so no big surprise it's really not a bit it's not a big deal the bible says it'll happen nothing complicated